Sharks hosting the Coyotes, and the Coyotes are minus 164 on the money line. The Sharks are plus 136. The over-under is at 6.5 goals. The Coyotes laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 146, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Sharks getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 178, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. They lose the game by one goal, you win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to puck drop tomorrow. It's supposed to be Ingram and Blackwood. Neither goaltender has been confirmed. And for those who are looking for a random fun fact, the Sharks are second in the NHL in block shots. I didn't know that until I just Googled it today, and I was surprised that the first two teams have losing records. Now, they played each other once this year, uh, about a week ago, and the Coyotes won that game one nothing out here in Arizona. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is 6-4. and four, The Sharks are 6-4. and four, The favorite's on a four-game winning streak. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 7-3. and three. There have been three one-goal games in their last 10, including the game that they played against each other this year. The over is 6-3-1, and one, and the over-under at 6.5 goals is 5-5. Five and five. The Coyotes are on a three-game winning streak. They are 3-1 and one in their last four. Six goals, one goal, two goals, seven goals. Two goals and a loss, one goal and a win, two goals and a win, and then four goals and a win. And they had back-to-back -back shutouts against the Sharks and against the Sabres. The Coyotes are this, like, hit-or-miss team. When they're on, they're on, and then when they're off, you know, just right off the side of the cliff. The Sharks are on a three-game losing streak. They are one and three in their last four. Three goals, one goal, eight goals, five goals. Two goals and a win, shutout and a loss, two goals and a loss, one goal and a loss. I'm going to take the Coyotes with the money line. I'm going to take the Coyotes laying the goals, and I'm going to go under in this one. It was good while the Sharks were winning and scoring, but seemingly that stopped. So until it happens again, I'm going to kind of stay away from them. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.